Hi guys, it's AJ in Phoenix, and we are with Dobermans and Bark. You know, I've told you in several of the videos that you need to learn to listen to your dog. If they're acting strangely, something is going on. Well guys, this is a Lammy Pie squeezy toy. I've had Phoenix for going on 13 years, and for the first 11 years of her life, she had one of these, except it was a cream color. And if she was in a room, that baby was in a room. That was her baby, and nobody else was supposed to touch it. And she loved that lamb. About a year and a half ago, I was babysitting two German Shepherds. Here's a picture of them. They're very beautiful dogs. I had let them go outside. In the meantime, Phoenix, walking around and never wanting to leave her baby, has walked over to the back. She dropped Slammy Pie on the floor. I didn't notice, I wasn't paying attention. She was more interested in what the other two dogs were getting to do at that point. Again, not really paying attention to what was going on around me, I let the shepherds back in to put them back in their pen. And unbeknownst to me, the uh, shepherd got her lamb and took it into the cage. So I'm doing something in the kitchen and the cage is just like right there. And she comes around the bar and she's just sitting there staring at me. She's not doing the hot dog dance. She's not barking. She's not leaning on me. She's not trying to give me a dubby hug. She just, and I keep looking at her. What's wrong with you? She just a statue. What's wrong? What is going on? And she just, just gives me this blank stare. Like, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's murder happening in this building right now. It's happening. And so finally I look up and her little lammy pie no longer exists. It was definitely a silence of a lamb. The shepherd had pulled all of her stuffing out, her squeaky toy out. She barely had a face anymore. It was terrible. And she was just like, I'm trying to tell you somebody's killing my baby. Why are you not paying attention to me? This one I found for her to try to replace it. I don't think dogs are supposed to be able to see color, but maybe it was the smell of a 11 year old baby doll that she'd been carrying around, no matter how many times I washed it. So I find another one, except it's purple, and she's not having anything to do with it. Mm -mm. Like, mm, no, you let my baby die. Mm -mm. No, not accepting that. I was like, oh, come on, you've gotta be able to accept it. So I got her a teddy bear and I got her a zebra you see some of those pictures in, in the different videos. She would not have anything to do with this poor little lamby pie for a long time. And from then on, if I'm around other dogs that want to play with toys, I have to pay attention because I think she is a shameless agitator. I think she knew exactly what she was doing. She just, she just didn't expect that particular outcome with her baby. Your dogs, sometimes they have to have something that belongs just to them and nobody else. So this is AJ and Phoenix saying, we'll see you next week.